Hi there, Amazon, AMZN is one of the few stocks that has bucked the trend and has been making record highs. How much higher can it go? Is it time to buy or sell Amazon stock? I'll be discussing these questions and more in this video on Amazon stock predictions from a technical analysis perspective. So let's jump into it. I like to start my analysis using the monthly chart cause that gives the overall view or the helicopter view for the stock. The first thing I notice is that Amazon is well supported by this trend line that is going back all the way to 2015. That is a positive sign and indication that the uptrend is still intact. The recent crash to 1627 was supported by this trend line and look at how the price launched from this trend line to make new highs. However, there are signs of weakness. The new highs in the Amazon stock price were not confirmed by the MACD indicator. This is typical behavior towards the end of a trend. But that does not mean the trend has reversed. It is just an early indication of slowing down or potential reversal. Let's study the weekly chart to get a better picture of this correction. Straight off the bat, we can see there is a resistance turn support zone right here. This looks like a strong support zone. It was tested many times before. The price finally broke above it. It was tested three times over here. One, two, and three times. And each time the price collapsed from this zone. Bigger drop here and a smaller drop over here. Before Amazon broke through the resistance level right here. However, the price collapsed again. This behavior is typical of strong resistance zones. And my thoughts were it must also be a psychological level. Sure enough, it is right around the $2,000 price mark. So there were a lot of investors offloading their shares at this level. This is typical of psychological levels. It is the market's perceived value of the stock. Investors don't believe that the stock can go any higher and hence they sell off each time the price reaches this level. As the bearish investors keep offloading, their holding size gets smaller and smaller and the bullish investors holding size gets larger and larger as they keep buying the dips right around these levels. Finally, the balance tilts from the bears to the bulls and it does not take much effort for the bulls to then push the price above the psychological level. As you can see here with this big spike up, to me this is a very strong support level. Firstly, it is a psychological level. Secondly, it was tested 4 times and thirdly, it was tested over a period of 18 months. And finally, it was broken to the upside with a strong bullish move. The price has since formed a flag or sideways correction right around here. This looks like a typical bull flag and further upside can be expected. But there is also a likelihood of a downwards correction before the stock proceeds in its trend. Let's analyze the hourly chart to study this further. The bull flag looks like a typical sideways correction but I also see a gap down right around here and this was followed by a corrective wave. The gap down indicates some weakness in the short term. A drop followed by a correction will usually result in another wave down and for such a correction the price will travel by the same distance as the first wave down. This gives us a target of around 2200 for this correction and that level coincides with this gap over here with this gap over here as well as the previous resistance level over here. So this makes it a high probability target. I'm expecting Amazon to make further highs after this correction is over. But for now, my target is still at 2500 price level right around here. So now the question is, is Amazon buy or sell? Since the target is 2500, there is not much further upside from here for now. If you are already invested, maybe it is a good time to take some profit and buy it when it hits the lower level at around 2200 or even reinvest in other stocks that have much more potential upside. Or you might continue to hold depending on your overall holdings. But if you are not invested yet, then I would think there are other stocks with a better potential that you should look at. Do let me know in the comment section below your thoughts on Amazon or other stocks that you would like me to do a video on. And do give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Thanks for watching and do hit the subscribe button so that you will be notified when I upload the next video. And I'll see you soon in the next one.